Welcome to EZLM Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning on Form 2 Mathematics and our topic is Statistics and you are going to be calculating the median of grouped data. So remember in our previous lesson we were able to see how we use raw data and convert it into a grouped data. You can go back to that video and check out how we did that and then practice. It requires some practice. It's very easy to make uh, simple errors, but if you do a bit of practice, it will be better. So today we are going to calculate now the median of group data. So most of the data that we are going to be using for this lesson has already been grouped for you and you have the class boundaries. So you don't have to create the class boundaries from scratch. Mm -hmm. So when calculating the median of a group data, remember previously we said that median is the middle value. So if you have uh, even numbers, you pick the n over 2 and n plus 1 over 2 values. If it's an odd number, it's just n over 2 uh, value. So in this case now, since it's a group data, it becomes even more complicated because the value that is repeating itself is in a range or in a class boundary. So it's not easy to specifically go to the group data and identify the one that is in the median. You need to do a bit of some calculation. And that is where the formula now comes in. So this is the formula that you use when you are calculating the median of a certain value in a grouped data. So the value of n shows the lower limit of the median class. n is the number of, observ of observations, or basically the total number of frequency. We can see the sum of frequency, and then cumulative frequency of the preceding class of the median class, and then f represents the frequency of the median class, and h represents the class size. And in this case, we need to pick the class limits. It's important we do that. So let's let's take an example uh, in the questions that you have been given. So let's apply what we have. So when you look at the formula, we get the median. First of all, we have the lower limit of the median class. So when you look at the total frequency, we need to get the total frequency because that forms the value of n. It helps us to get the median class. So it's 2 uh, plus 7 plus 10, plus 3, plus 1, which gives us 23. So the total frequency here is 23. So this is an odd number. So when we do 23 divided by 2, remember how we were doing in the previous, um, in the previous class, that is 23 plus 1 divided by 2. So it's going to be uh, 24 divided by 2, which gives us the 12. So when we are getting, we are calculating our frequencies, our class will be up to the 12th value. So let's look at which uh, class forms the 12th value. So 2 plus 7 gives us 9. 9 plus 10 is 19. So we know the 12th value is in between here. This is because you see the first frequency is 2. When you get to the second class is up to seven. So two plus seven, this is up to nine. So, and we want the 12th value. The 12th value will be now in this in this class 21 to 30, because in between here, we have not values that is nine plus 10, which are 19, up to 19. From nine up to 19. So this is where our 12th value is going to fall. So the median class is 21 to 30. So you see the reason why we are using now formula, it's not possible now to pick the specific value from the range. So that's the reason why the formula comes in. So the lower limit, we start with the lower limit. So that this is the formula. The lower limit in this median class is going to be, this is going to be 19.5. And the upper limit is going to be 30.5. Remember how we do the limits. So this is 19.5, 30.5. So the lower limit is going to be 19.5 plus into bracket the n divided by 2 in this case is going to be 23 divided by 2 because 23 is a number of observations or the total frequencies that we have and then minus the cumulative frequency of the previous or the preceding median class. So in this case we are looking at the cumulative frequency of the 
class, which is 11 to 20, because that is the one that is preceding 21 to 30. So the total here is going to be 9. So minus 9 over frequency of the median class. The frequency of the median class is 10. Not the total frequency, the frequency. Get the difference? And then everything is going to be multiplied by H, which forms the class size. So the difference between that is 30.5 minus 19.5 will give us, uh, the class size is 10 because it's 11. 30 minus 21 is 11. Let's make a correction. Remember we said this is 21, so it's supposed to be 20. 20 is supposed to be 20.5, not 19.5, uh, because the lower the lower limit is uh, minus 0 0.5. So 20, 20.5 20 to 30.5, which forms a difference of 10, so times 10. So let's finish now the formula. So 23 divide by 2 is going to give us 11.5. So we have 20.5 into bracket. This is plus. So we have 11.5 minus 9 divided by 10 times 10. So 11.5 minus 9 gives us 2.5. So it is going to be 20.5 plus 2.5 divided by 10 times 10. So we are going to tackle this first before we add. So this is 20.5 plus 10 by 10. We, are, we had 2.5. So this is going to be 23.0. That is because it is 20.5 plus 2.5, which is going to give us 23. So 23 is our median. Let's use the same formula now to calculate another example. So we have uh, the total frequencies. Remember, this is what we said we get because it's going to form the value of n. So we have 4 plus 8 plus 15 uh, plus 8 plus 5. So we are working with 40. The data we have is 40. So when you look at the median, it's going to be 40. Divide by divide by two and forty one divided by two. Remember, we said it is the n divided by two and n plus one divided by two. When you are looking at how to calculate median in the data that was not grouped, so we look at the twentieth value and forty one divided by two gives us. 20.5 20 value. So let's see where that falls. So when you calculate the cumulative frequency, the first one is 4. So the cumulative frequency for the second class, this is going to be 4 plus 8, which is 12. Then 12 plus 15, which is going to give us 27. So the second cumulative is 27. We said we want 20th and 20.5 20 value, which falls on this class when you do the cumulative so 71 to 80 so we are working with 71 to 80 this is the class boundary we are working with so the lower limit is going to be 70.5 and the upper limit is going to be 80.5 so remember we need that so when we apply the formula it's going to be the lower limit which is 70.5 plus into bracket the value of n is 40 because there are 40 uh, uh, values or occurrences to minus the cumulative frequency of the preceding. Cumulative frequency of the preceding class is the preceding class is 61 to 70. So the total cumulative frequency is going to be 4 plus 8, which gives us 12. So minus 12. Everything divided by frequency, that is the frequency of the median class, which is 15. Then times h, our h is going to be the, the class difference, like the class limit. If you subtract the limits, for example, in this case, it's going to be 80, or basically the width, 80.5 80 minus 70.5, which gives us 10. So this is the formula now in application. So this is going to be 70.5 
plus 40 divided by 2 will give us 20 minus 12 divided by 15 times 10. So this is going to be 70.5 plus 20 minus 12 will give us 8 divided by 15 times 10, like that. So 8 divided by 15 will give us 0 0.5333. If you multiply that by 10, you get 5. So it is 70.5 plus 5.333, which will give us 75.83. That is what we get. And you notice it's seen the, in the median class between 71 and 80. But now the formula helps us to get the specific value or the specific uh, uh, value uh, with the um, with the highest frequency. All right. So let's look at a final question again using the formula. So we get the total frequency. So this is going to be eight uh, plus twenty five plus fourteen plus nine plus four to get the value of n, which is sixty. So our value of n is sixty. So this is an even number, so it's going to be 60 divided by 2 and 61 divided by 2. So these two values, their average is what we need. So it's going to be 60 divided by 2, which gives you 30. And 61, 61 divided by 2 is going to give you 30.5. If you add these two and divide by 2, this is the same as 30 uh, plus 30.5. That is going to be 60.5 divided by 2, which gives us 30.25. This is the value we want. So we want to see where it falls at. So we do the cumulative frequency until we get to the 30th, 30.25th 30 value. So this is 8. 8 plus 25 gives us 33. So 33, 33 falls here. This is the total. We want the value that is 30. 0.25 means our 33 is in this class of 11 to 20 and the limits are going to be 10.5 to 20.5 all right so our formula is going to be the lower limit which is 10.5 plus into bracket n which is 60 divided by 2 minus a total cumulative frequency of the preceding. The preceding class is 1 to 10. So the total cumulative frequency is 8. So minus 8, then divide by the frequency of the median class, which is 25, then times the uh, h, which is the height or the width, which is going to be 20.5 minus 10.5, which will give you 10. So 60 divided by 2 is going to be 30. So this is becomes 10.5 plus 30 minus 8 over 25 times 10. So 30 minus 8 is going to give us 22. 22, so it becomes 10.5 10 plus 22 over 25 times 10. So this is 22 divided by 25 times 10, which gives us 8.8. .8. So 10.5 plus 8.8 .8 is going to give us, so 10.5 plus 8.8 .8 will give us 19.3. So you see this 19.3 or our answer falls on this median class. So that's how we calculate the median of a group data. It's different a little bit from what we learned when we don't have a group data. So make sure you get the formula, write the formula somewhere so that it can help you to do the calculations. So you can get more uh, revision questions on the same and practice how to calculate median of a group data using the formula in the app. So you can get the app and check them out. I'll see you in the next lesson.